Well, this is the stuff to make my guacamole. They only sell these big, huge batches of cilantro, and they're like 89 cents, so it's not expensive, but I might be having to make more guacamole if this comes out okay. My avocados, some Roma tomato, a lime, a jalapeno, red onion, and salt. I know will go in this, so. I've been watching videos online on table-side guacamole making, so we'll see how it goes. But first, I have to go cook some rice for my casserole later, so I'm going to go put some rice on. Kitty's in here. Here's the kitty. My prep work down there is my onion and my tomato and my jalapeno. So I'm getting ready to cook this in the microwave a little bit for my casserole. That's what my dip's gonna get made in. I'm making a chili cheese dip too. Which means I gotta get my Velveeta. My Velveeta's over there. Humper's in there. There's Dad's Sloppy Joe's. Now it's time to put this in here. I still have to cut up some cilantro. Kitchen fun. Messing with my casserole. There's my broccoli, my rice. I put a cup of milk in here. I'm getting ready to put in a can of soup and chunk up some cheese. I hydrated some dehydrated onion. We'll see how it goes. There, I got my broccoli, rice, soups, and stuff. I just got to chunk up my cheese and toss in there. And then this will be ready to go into the pan to bake. I have the oven over there heating up. Where are we at? 231, so maybe by the time I get this done, it'll be ready to go in. This is just a simple dip I'm doing with a half a pound of Velveeta cubed in a can of Hormel chili with no beans. I got it in here melting together. So I just put my casserole in the oven. That's got to cook for about half an hour. So we're doing okay. I'm gonna work on the guacamole. First, I need to squeeze two limes into, or one lime into my bowl. So I'll do that and be back. Okay, I put a nice little healthy dose of uh, salt. I put sea salt. And now I'm going to put in my avocado. And uh, I, let me accidentally hit off. Let me put you over here for a second. Hopefully you can see you take these and just, this knife is not very sharp apparently, and go around them and then take your knife and do the whole boom, turn, pop it out. So you can score these, it's like butter, and put them in your bowl. So, I want to get all this in the bowl. Now that all my avocado is in here, I'm going to mush it up and make sure it's coated well with the salt and lime. It looks so good so far. Oops, get you in the shot. So let me get this all. I'm going to do a two fork method with both hands. Uh, so, and then once I get this all kind of mushed up, I'm going to start adding things to it. Now that my Avocado is, I'm gonna all kind of mush together. I'm gonna put in some diced fresh jalapeno. Give it a little bit of kick. Um, some red onion. Um, some tomato. These aroma tomatoes seeded. And cilantro. I love the cilantro. So I'm going to mix all this together and see how it comes out. There is my guacamole. Some people do less stuff in it. I like a lot more chunks and stuff in it. So some people like it more avocado with less tomato, onion. We'll be trying it here in a few. So we'll be back when we try it. Oh, well, let's look at the dip over here. Here's the chili cheese dip. I got the low. Let's check out. That's cooking yet. It's got to cook for a little while. Okay, the Humper's going to try the chili cheese dip. I haven't tried it yet. How's that? Okay, now move to the guacamole. There's the guacamole.
And there we go. How's that? Good? <laughs> my rice broccoli casserole is okay, but it doesn't taste like my aunt's. I'm going to have to get her recipe at Easter when I go there. I'll write it down and make it like she does. <laughs> now we're going to enjoy our Sloppy Joes and food.